What's going on guys? Welcome to the vlog. Um, I'm trying to be kind of quiet because I'm in a hotel room and my roommate for this week is asleep. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, hanging out with my buddy Gooby. So that's what you're going to see this next week. But the week I had prior to this, what you're about to watch was awesome. And uh, I'm really excited to show it all to you. Me and Craig got to interview a guy named Steve Cropper and Steve is uh he's like a mu music legend he um played for booker t and the mgs he was in the blues brothers band like the blues brothers band he, he just has the craziest story ever this is steve talking about how he found otis redding who became a good friend of his and he produced him um up until otis passed away so uh that's what you're about to see and uh the story of otis redding which is the bigger story i guess he actually came there as he was a lead singer in the Johnny Jenkins band, but we were there to record Johnny Jenkins to try to come up with a follow-up to his hit Love Twist, which they were had not been able to do. <clears throat> so his manager and I all thought it'd be a great idea if for us, who were really <laughs> veterans of, of hit instrumentals, to come up with something for him. And uh, this guy who drove the car up from Macon, Georgia, uh, and drove Johnny up there, uh, kept hitting on our drummer and Al Jackson and Al came to me and said, you've got to hear this guy because uh, I said, he said, I've already told him that you only hold auditions on Saturday mornings and that's our day that we don't record, you know. But uh, he's just been persistent. He said, can you just take five seconds and listen to this guy, get him off my back, he's driving me nuts. So I said, okay, tell him come down to the piano. And uh, so he did, he brings him down there. And when I said brings him down there, it seemed like a long way, maybe about six steps or something. And so I'm looking at the piano, and he's looking down, and I said, okay, play something. And he said, oh, I don't play any piano, I play a little guitar, I don't play piano. He said, can you give me another, you play it? I said, not really. He said, can you give me some of them church quads? And I knew he meant six, eight triplets. So I said this, and he said, yeah. And he started singing these arms of mine. And I just cut him off. And he said, what, you don't like it? And I said, no, I love it. Just hang on, just stay right there. And I went running upstairs. I said, Jim, just stop what you're doing. You gotta come and hear this guy's voice. That's what got me. Because entertainment was not part of it. It's just the voice was so different. It was amazing. So Jim was re very reluctant at first. And he said, okay, he knew I was serious. If I said, get down here and hear this guy's voice. And he did. You know? And uh, we both immediately. So Jim said, get the band back together, because we were done with the session. And they were upstairs listening to playbacks of the day. And uh, he said, get the band back together. Well, Booker supposedly had already gone, and Duck remembered me running out on the sidewalk and saying, get your bass out. He said, I'd already put it in the truck, and I was just shutting it down. And he said, you, you said you hollered up and said, get your bass back out. We've got to cut this song real quick. <laughs> and we did, about two takes. The next morning, when the session started, I don't know if we started at 10 or 11, I can't remember. Uh, we were trying to get a B-side for These Arms of Mine. Hey, Hey Baby or something we wound up with instead of Johnny Jenkins. Now Johnny Jenkins played guitar on These Arms of Mine. Everybody thinks I did, but now I'm playing piano. <laughs> or trying, I'm not playing piano, I'm just going through the motions of it. You, you met him, you heard him, and, and you recorded him, you him know, within an hour? Yeah. You know how I knew he was good? The hair on my arm stood up straight up. <laughs> that told me what I needed to know. And my theory, and I'm not saying I'm perfectly right, but I'm pretty right, I think. If you do it for the money, you're really taking a lot of chance. It may or may not happen. If you do it because you love something and you're good at it, the money will come. Don't worry about the money. Somebody's gonna take care of you. <laughs> Yeah, it was awesome getting to hang out and interview Steve. Um, after that, I went and hung out with my buddy Ben Marshall. Um, he's a singer-songwriter in Nashville, Tennessee. So we shot a little video. Looks something like this. So yeah, you can even act like you're turning something. Like Ben's name. They, they can't.
to hang out with my buddy Kalen. Kalen is currently on The Voice, um, so you should watch The Voice and uh, support my buddy Kalen. Kalen Garner, he's awesome. He's he's just the nicest dude ever, and uh, he's pretty talented. You just let me know when you're ready, bud. Bad dude. You just tell me when, bud. I'm rolling. Yeah. Just whenever you're ready. You ever see a man take six hours to tune a guitar? This part of the song sounds like a guy tuning his guitar. Guitars, they're meant to be tuned. All right, man. <coughs> After that, um, I went and did a photo shoot. I didn't shoot any video because I was really tired. Um, but the photos look something like this. And now I'm here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Um, we got in last night and I slept for like two hours and then got up at like six and shot all this stuff. And now I'm throwing together the vlog and throwing together that footage you just saw. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be in Atlanta for this week. It's going to be a good time. I'm hanging out with Gooding and crew. And uh, they're all just the greatest humans ever. So uh, this is going to be a fun week as well. Yeah, well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like the vlog, please go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Tell your grandma about it. Uh, hi, Mom. And uh, I will see you all next week.